Hi, I'm Azari Dui Masha. You are now watching ESA. Let's start talk about Tempe. Uh, why Tempe? Why we should learn about Tempe? Why should we should promote Tempe? <coughs> Basically, Tempe is a performance food uh, originated from Indonesia. Originally, was also being used soybean. Kita pakai soybean lah. We call it kedelai in Indonesia. And um, over the years, Tempe has grown its momentum, uh, very sustainability, high in protein. And for the past few years, Tempe has been known as superfood. Uh, the best substitute for meat. So now, going forward, tempe is good. But how do we promote? The Malaysia, tempe sellers are still tempe sellers, selling at 120, <coughs> using soybean, GMO products. They are not being exposed, and it's a dying industry. Now. I don't see the young ones doing this. I don't think they will want to do this because there's no broad down knowledge. Because it's a very meat thing. Eh? It's a very small industry type of. Uh, player and the pricing is too low how much can you make you're selling a tempe about one ringgit 50 cents one ringgit 70 cents and when you put it at the shop you have got to give a percentage you know minimum people take nowadays 30 percent margin for, for for the for the shops to sell so how much do you get in, in return that's why therefore the, the 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 market for doing tempe has not been safe so this is where i come in my quest was to look for a good tempe teacher so i got one learned the trade from her then I explore because all tempeh makers are still using soybean but for me I don't use soybean I use chickpea yeah, chickpea lentils I use mung beans I use red beans which is azuki beans <coughs> I use black eye bean I use black turtle beans any beans you know, uh, legumes that that's possible to use it so this is my call and it tastes much better and I'm more into organic so we go into organics nevertheless if people still want to go back to the the normal beans or whatsoever, right? It's okay uh, because for some reason people still love soy bean and uh, they can't get hold of non-GMO products. So my quest keeps going on. Uh, <coughs> I've learned about how to do tempeh, and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go out and teach people what is it that we can produce food that can help sustain family. Good food. Kids are eating things such as chips and everything. We can make tempeh chips. Tempeh fries, you can just ferment tempeh, grow, cultivate, cultivate it, cut it into fries, give it a freeze that kids wants to eat, just fry tempeh and eat. It's exactly just like how you eat your normal french fries. On a monthly basis, I've got a regular class that I've been doing in an organic shop. And easily for each session, I'll get about 15 to 18 uh, students who come in and learn from me. Going forward, I would like to approach PPR. When I did a PPR block, one block, they live together. How can they generate more income? They can work together to produce tempeh because if you want to make it big, you want to make a tempeh movement, you should do it whereby you move out and you do it as a group. Your production will be more and when you have more quantity, you have more volume, it's easy for you to reach out. You can approach supermarkets, you can approach organic shops, you can approach bazaars, Sunday markets. These are all opportunity by just producing that's not the end of it. They need to know how to produce it, they need how to market it, and how to reach the masses. Because tempeh is now widely accepted. You can go to any vegan shop, tempeh is on their menu. You teach the youth, they can do this. It's it's something collectively whereby people learn. Bring up this culture, we make a tempeh movement in Malaysia that people are easily taught and they can learn how to produce tempeh on their own. We teach more PPR. We, people need to be self-sustainable, learn and, and progress forward because the youth is abundance. Some would love to be entrepreneurs. So this is a step for them also. You never know. This simple food may one day bring them up to a higher level. So it's good that given a chance, if we could approach organizations, NGOs or even government bodies, we, we propose to them that let us run something that can benefit the people. Guys, let's make this happen. Let's create a small movement, a tempe movement in Malaysia. Uh, we learn, we teach, and we produce. 
and we can go forward with this. We need small little steps, then we grow bigger. For information, please contact me and we'll make this happen together.